This is the Greenmar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion for Saturday, October the 9th. Hello and welcome. Today we are reading from the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 9 through 21. Here's the word of the Lord. Love must be sincere. Hate, it, hate what is evil, cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor, serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath, for it is written, it is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. On your contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. And this is the word of the Lord. Bless your enemies in love. That is the article today from Paul Bezette. We are blessed to be a blessing. Who are we supposed to bless? In today's passage, Paul echoes Jesus in saying that the blessings of God should flow even to our enemies, those who persecute us. For me, it is easier to bless my family and friends. Why does God desire we bless our enemies? The answer is found in verse 21. Do not be overcome by evil but overcome evil with good. Paul is saying that by loving our enemy, we overcome evil with good. Revenge is the way the world works, but Paul says don't replay anyone evil for evil. Blessings reverses the damage done by the cycle of revenge. Victory is found in blessing our enemies. By loving our enemies, we are overcoming the evil that is found when humans take revenge into their own hands. By blessing our enemies, we are sharing the blessed day that God has given us, found in Jesus Christ. We were once the enemy of God. Now we are his beloved, the ones called to extend his blessing to the world. We are called to bless our enemies in love. The hymn today is Victory in Jesus by Eugene M. Bartlett. I heard about his healing of cleansing power revealing how he made the lame to walk again he caused the blind to see. And from the Gospel of Luke chapter 6 verse 27. But to you who are listening I say love your enemies do good to those who hate you. And this is your daily devotion for Saturday, October the 9th. Have a blessed day.